everyone Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel in another New York City vlog today we are heading down to Soho we're gonna do some eating we're gonna do some window shopping we're gonna do some actual shopping and I thought I would take you guys with me so if you're down for the ride go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video so this vlog is very impromptu i have literally been in the house for about five days we had a snowstorm um there's still snow on the ground but i think this is the perfect time to go shopping because i feel like not many people are going to go out into the snow but look your girl is ready i'm gonna give you guys my outfit of the day i need to choose a scent i need to throw on my jacket I'm debating about whether I'm gonna take the train or call an Uber and then we're gonna head to Soho. I'm definitely thinking about going to H&M, Zara, Koss, Aritzia, and maybe some more high-end places like Valentino, Prada, and I'm hungry. So we are definitely gonna try and pop by Ruby's Cafe as well. So let me go ahead and give you guys my outfit of the day. I am back wearing my favorite Fenty Unveil a lip stain. It's my favorite. Of course, these are like my everyday earrings, the Louis Vuitton earrings. This necklace is from Majuri. I get asked about this a lot. They do still have this available, so I will link it down below for you guys. The sweater is a favorite of mine from Ann Other Stories. It is sold out. I've had it for so long. But y'all, Cos, C-O-S, has a very similar sweater and cardigan. So I'll link both of those below. It's the exact same material as well. And then of course, I am wearing my Sweaty Betty stirrup leggings that have fleece on the inside because it's about 20 degrees outside and your girl needs to stay warm. So these are the stirrup leggings from Sweaty Betty. I'm wearing the medium, they're super warm. I'll link them down below, but H&M also has a great uh, dupe of these that are not as expensive, that come in a ton of different colors. As you can see, it has that cool pleat down the front, makes it a little more businessy. And for the boots, of course, I am wearing these Ghani boots. Anytime I wear these boots, I get asked so many questions about them. I got mine from Saks when I did a partnership with them, but these are the Ghani boots. They are like a shiny leather, and then they have rubber around the perimeter, and then kind of like a neoprene on the front there. Super comfy, really great for actual snow, which is a lot of snow on the ground right now. So these will be great to wear today. <sighs> All right, y'all. Here in my closet, I need to pick a fragrance. Let's see. I've been loving the combination of uh, Tay Noir 29 from Le Labo mixed with Gentle Fluidity from MFK. This mixture is a match made in heaven. If you haven't watched my perfume favorites vlog, you probably should, it's hilarious. And thank you to everyone for all of your support on that. I don't know the notes of anything. I probably should have looked that up. But I feel like smell is something that evokes a feeling or a memory and that probably can do more for you than the actual notes. I don't know, that's just me. But I'm gonna spray the gentle fluidity on first because I want that to be the base and then I'm going to spray just a few sprays of the Tay Noir 29 from the Labo on top and that is today's fragrance I need to pick a bag I don't I want hands free today so I might carry my Gucci bag and I don't carry this bag often is the horse bit bag i love this bag it's very affordable as well when it comes to like designer bags inside is this beautiful pink suede so i think we're gonna take that why do i have so much stuff in here what's this oh where did i spend 65 dollars oh hillstone of course <laughs> so i'm gonna take this That'll be good. And then my coat, I think I'm gonna wear my uh, coat from Sweaty Betty. 
and I'm gonna throw on a mask. What just fell out of my hair? Oh dear. And then we're gonna go ahead and head out. I think I'm gonna Uber. Hopefully, I don't know if that's safe. Maybe I should just take the train. We gonna see y'all. But I need to change the battery on y'all because y'all are flashing and we are gonna head out. So here is the full look with my sweaty Betty coat, Gucci bag, very chill. Got my mask and we're gonna head to Soho. Let's go.
Hey y'all, so it's actually much, much later. I tried to do something with my hair because I'm going to an event tonight with Amazon. There is a new movie coming out and they invited me to a screening. I'm also meeting up with my girl Octavia. I hope you follow her YouTube channel. If not, I'll link it down below. I'm meeting her there and we're just gonna kiki it up and we're going to watch the premiere together. I think they're gonna have like free drinks and a concession stand, so it should be fun. I think it's a really cute, lighthearted rom-com, which I'm loving rom-coms. It's February, today is February 1st, so you know, Valentine's is right around the corner. It's Black History Month, so why not? Um, this is my first time I've ever done my hair like this. And I think I like it. This is like the last day of like my poof. And I think I'm washing my hair tomorrow because I am heading to Miami for work. Yesterday was great. It was so cold. I did a ton of shopping. I went into like every single store you can possibly imagine. One of the stores I popped into was And Other Stories. I actually tried on a few things while there. You guys know I love And Other Stories. It's the same brand that owns H&M as well as Cos. I did get a little something. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I also popped into Sephora. I needed some skincare products. I went in every single store, y'all. I went in Zara. Zara has the cutest new like makeup and beauty section the one down in soho i love it it's so cute in there they have different eyeshadows and lipsticks and nail polishes so if you haven't been in the zara down in soho on broadway definitely check them out the beauty section is incredible i've actually bought a few of their nail polishes and lipsticks and the quality is wonderful i did go into aritzia i didn't buy anything um, but this dress that I have on is from Aritzia. If you watched my latest video of things I got in new that I styled for winter. I'll link it down below if it's still available. I'm wearing the medium and I'll give you a better look of that in a moment. Oh, and then I ate, sorry guys. I ate at Ruby's Cafe. It's an Australian restaurant in Soho. I feel like I love Ruby's. They're always gonna have a special place in my heart, but I feel like the food has not been as good. Like it used to be so savory and now it's quite bland. I got my usual, which is the shrimp linguine, I believe. And I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like it used to be. I don't know if they have a new cook, a new recipe, but it's just not hitting like it used to. And y'all know I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I mean, it's a cute restaurant, it's a cute little vibe. The drinks are good but mm, I don't know. I don't know what's been happening with them. Anywho, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got in from and other stories. You probably saw me try this skirt on and I absolutely love it. But I just got this faux wrap skirt and it's in kind of a nylon material. I actually have two skirts exactly like this, but they're actually fabric. I have one Balenciaga skirt that's similar to this, but I like that it's in this like nylon kind of shiny fabric. I think that adds a little extra something. And it's also pretty long on me. I mean, it's a mini skirt, but it still covers up everything I can bend over without showing anything. And I just love it. I think it's very on trend. I got my normal size, which is the US size medium, I believe. And it fits perfectly. I'm normally a US size six. I'll link this down below if anyone else is interested in it but i mean i think it's just super cute i can definitely wear this with um some boots oh no i got the us size six i could definitely wear this with some boots like some combat boots with socks and like an oversized sweater and trench coat when it kind of warms up a little bit or maybe like a 50 degree 45 degree new york day i can also wear this well into the summer it's just a great piece so I'll link this down below. And I did stop into Sephora and I just got a few skincare items. The first one is from Clinique. You guys know I, I recently worked with Clinique and I love their skincare. I'm wearing their makeup. Their makeup is incredible. I'll link everything I use from Clinique down below. But I've been using their All About Clean Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. This cleanser is so amazing. It like, 
it gets your makeup off but it leaves your face moisturized and this is for a combination oily to oily skin um they have different ones so this is the one that works the best for me and it's just amazing it's um allergy tested 100 fragrance free i can't really deal with fragrances on my face so i love this stuff i had a whole tube and i definitely left it at the w hotel in the shower the last time i was in miami so i had to re-up i also had to re-up on my sunscreen i love wearing the super goop unseen sunscreen with spf 40. I normally wear this on my face if I'm not wearing any makeup. If I'm just going to the beach, I'll put this on. Or if I'm having a no makeup day, I'm just lounging around the house. This is what I put on after putting on my skincare. Um, because I do get a lot of sunlight here. I have tons of windows. I still wear sunscreen even on the days I don't go outside. But this one is great. It doesn't leave a film. It goes on clear. And you can wear it under your makeup. Before I started using the Clinique, which has SPF in it, I will put this under my makeup. And it is clear. So it doesn't leave a film. It just goes on clear onto your skin and literally just soaks right in. It's amazing. So very, you know, melanated skin friendly because it doesn't leave a film. And I will link this down below if any of you are interested. Last but not least, while I was in line, <laughs> I actually came across this. Now, you guys know that I love the Brio Geo. It's so hard for me to say that. Brio Geo. Um, hair care brand it, it is a black owned brand but while I was standing in line they had a little uh, setup for this and this is the don't despair repair it has rice water protein and it's a moisture strengthening treatment and I just thought that I could really use this I mean my hair has a lot of oil in it right now like right now my hair is pretty saturated with jamaican black castor oil but it doesn't matter how much oil i put in my hair it always looks like it's dry and so i wanted to try something with rice water because i also hear that rice water really helps um your hair to grow and to grow quickly and plus it's a black owned business it looks like it foams and comes out as like a type of mousse so I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's no harsh sulfates, no silicone, no silicones, no parabens. And again, I'm loving that rice water is in there. So I'm gonna start using this and see if it can kind of help with like the moisture of my hair just so it doesn't look dry. But we shall see. So that's what I got from Sephora. I will link the skirt and also everything I got from Sephora down below. So right now it's about five o'clock the door is open for the screening it's at the crosby street theater it's like inside of a hotel i've been in there before for another screening it was really cute it starts at 6 30 or they open the doors at 6 30 and the movie starts at 7 so i have a good probably 30 minutes before i need to head out and meet my girl octavia i'm very excited to meet her i'm starving i'm starving anywho let me go ahead and show you guys my outfit for the evening and then uh, we'll call an uber pick a earring pick a scent pick a bag pick a coat pick a shoe and we will head on downtown to check out this screening actually let me look at my phone and see what the name of this movie is i probably should know that <laughs> You know, y'all, I'm just living in the moment. Oh, it's called I Want You Back, and it's an advanced screening. And I watched the trailer, and it was really cute. It's a ton, a ton of cool uh, actors and actresses that I really like are in the movie as well. So, should be fun. Of course, going to take you guys with me. Let me go ahead and get myself together, and then I will check back in when I'm ready to head out and show you my outfit of the day. All right guys, so this was going to be the look, but I'm going to change this dress because honestly, I am burning up, okay? It's so hot in this dress. But I wanted to show you guys the dress because it's so cute. If you haven't watched my latest video, Styling 10 uh, Winter Outfits, this is from Aritzia. I'm wearing the medium and it's just, it's an incredible dress. It's super soft, like I wish you all could feel it. The boots are Stuart Weitzman Parton boots. They're true to size. And of course, this suede coat, you all have seen me rock so much and it's from Rixo. But I'm not feeling it. I am burning up and I feel like I'm gonna be hot 
<laughs> so I'm gonna change the outfit, I believe. But today's scent is going to be a mixture of Gentle Fluidity by Maison Francis, Kirk Dijon, and a mixture of uh, Tay Noir 29. That's like my go-to right now. So let me go figure out another outfit because I don't wanna be sweating. And this dress is very warm, like even without the coat, I'm burning up. <laughs> so let me find something else to wear and then we'll head out. All right guys, so here is the look. I feel so much more comfortable. <laughs> that dress was so hot. It's a beautiful dress, but it's hot. The ear earrings are Ana Luisa. The lip is Modest Matte by Absolute New York. My necklaces are from Majuri. This dress, I've actually worn a few times. It's from Nasty Gal. It has balloon sleeves. It's nice and lightweight. I also love that it has two slits on the side. The coat is Rinkso. I'm wearing a medium. The dress is a medium. The boots are the same part and boots from uh, Stuart Weitzman. And then I'm gonna carry this Coach Tabby bag to kind of match with the dress. And that is today's look. I like it. It's nice and comfortable and I feel relaxed, so this is the look. Let me show you my scent for the night and then we will head out. I will also link a few of these tabbies. I know a lot of you are into them. Great investment. I love this color, it goes with everything. And yeah. And like I said, tonight's fragrance is a mixture of Gentle Fluidity Gold and Tay Noir 29 from La Labo. I love the mixture of how these two smell together. morning y'all so I wanted to come on and make sure I did a little recap of yesterday it was such a fun night 
I ended up going down to Crosby Street Hotel for a movie screening. The movie is called I Want You Back and it's going to be on Amazon Prime February the 11th. It was actually a really, really good movie. It was very fun, very like romantic comedy, very upbeat and cute. They had candy out for everyone and popcorn and drinks. And of course, I met up with my girl Octavia B there as well. She's great. I love watching her YouTube channel if you have never heard of her because maybe you've been living under a rock. I'll link her channel down below. You can check her out. I love her YouTube channel. She's such a sweetheart. We had such a good time just chatting and talking. Um, and checking out the movie and then after the movie we actually went to Omar's Kitchen which I went to recently. It is a Caribbean restaurant. It was very very nice because um, we went during the week so it was very very quiet versus the last time I went I went on a Friday and they had a DJ. So if you're looking for vibes go on like the weekend if you want more quiet less people and just good food go during the weekday um i think we were the last table that they were serving and of course i had to get a rum punch i also got the doubles and we both got the oxtail the curry oxtail with rice and peas again everything was delicious service was incredible from start to finish and we just had a good time chatting talking about life talking about being full-time content creators and yeah she's super super sweet we're definitely gonna hang out again soon it was a wonderful wonderful evening and now i'm here i just did some stories and i had to shoot some content which is why i have on a full face this lip is christian dior i'll link it down below I'm kind of feeling my hair being out like this i kind of don't know what to do with it <laughs> which is why i keep playing with it but actually i need to wash my hair today because I am heading to Miami tomorrow, so there will be an upcoming Miami vlog. Some of everybody is in Miami. I'm doing a ton of things with a ton of people. I'm going down to shoot one of my biggest campaigns of the year. It's going to be super fun. I'm going to take you guys with me. But if you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up. I would love to get at least 4,000 likes on this video so YouTube can push my video out to more people. Definitely subscribe if you enjoyed. I would love to have you join the family. Please be one of those 40,000 people I need to get to 100K this year. That is my goal. Um, you guys have been showing up and showing out on these likes and sharing my videos with your family and friends. So thank you guys so much. It's working. Your girl is growing. We're gonna get there hopefully and also you can click the notification bell so anytime i post a video you will get notified if you have some kind of child lock on your channel you might not be able to turn on your notifications so just make sure that you have your settings set to videos that are not child friendly because i don't my videos i never post them as being child friendly that's the tea thank you guys so much for watching and of course i will see you all in the next one should be another miami vlog coming soon all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.